January 14th, 1929, St. Valentine's Day, in a warehouse on Chicago's south side. <laughs> Members of the Al Cologne gang, disguised as police, gunned down seven of Bugs Moron's boys. Three lived long enough to say... Gee Later that evening, Muggs Moron received this anonymous phone call. Are you lonesome tonight? Fearing for his life, Moron rushed to LaSalle Street Station, where he was seen boarding a train heading... Go to Alaska! At that very moment, Elliot Fress and the Touchables, out to uphold justice, were taking their oath. Deine Heimat ist das Meer. During the following weeks, 15 members of the Al Cologne mob met violent deaths. Scarmelli Capelli, Cologne's top lieutenant, was cornered by one of Muggs Moron's boys and told... You're 16, you're beautiful, and you're mine. Meanwhile, at the headquarters of Elliot Press and the Touchables... Deine Heimat ist das Meer. That same day, little Annie Tortoni, Carpelli's gun mall, paid a surprise visit to the Touchables. Two days later... They found little Annie... Clutched in her hand, police found a note with just four words. You talk too much. The killings continued until Al Cologne was taken into custody by federal agents. Following his conviction, Cologne told an astonished court... Like a rubber ball on the bouncing back to you. This promise was never to be fulfilled. <laughs> Their job done for them, Elliot Fress and the Touchables turned to each other and said... Deine Heimat ist das now retired and living on the palatial estate of the late Al Cologne, they were asked, how is this possible? Simple. We were touchable. <laughs> <laughs>